Hey everyone, in this video I'll be showing you how you can upload custom characters into Wonder Studio using their Blender add-on which just released. Uh, it just makes the whole process a lot easier. So here we go. Alright, so for the character we're going to be using this um, Ancient Titan Volume 3 character from uh, Sketchfab made by Can uh, does Can. Thank you Can for making this model. So we're just going to go download 3D model and we're going to download FBX and uh, we'll jump to blender now all right so in blender now so we're gonna go to file import um fbx so it's just go to fbx we'll browse to the folder where the model is downloaded select the file click import and it comes in blender now so we'll start by cleaning up the character a little bit uh, we don't want all these um uh, extra objects it comes with. So it's going to delete that. Going to the edit mode. It's going to select his sword as well. Going to be deleting that. And we're also going to be deleting the armature which, which comes with it. So it's going to delete that as well. And then we're going to be selecting the armature and the, and the mesh. Press Shift P clear parent we're gonna detach the amateur from the mesh and then just gonna delete that and now we have our mesh separated from its bones uh, so now we're gonna be scaling it down to uh, something uh, realistic so for scale reference I usually use a uh, rigify rig so if you go into mesh uh, go to armature you can put in a human meta rig uh, for scale reference, then we're going to select the mesh and scale it down. Oops, so select everything. I'm just going to scale it down to the scale of the rig of high mesh over here. All right, now it's time to bring in uh, the armature which is compatible with uh, Wonder Dynamics. So if you go to the Wonder Dynamics uh, website, you can uh, if you go to the download section in help, you can find they do have an example character dot blender, um, which contains the right armature with the right naming convention and everything. So we're gonna download that, bring that into Blender. All right, so I have downloaded that. So we'll go to File, Append, and then I'll go to Assets, uh, Example Character, Example Character uh, Blender. Just gonna append that and then you will have objects then you can bring in this uh, example character body so if you click that in you will have the armature uh, imported all right before we start aligning things let me just uh, join the mesh so we're gonna select everything go object join all right so let me just uh, rescale that a little bit over here go to the transparent mode select the armature Oops, no, I have it on this direction. There you go. So if you select the amateur, uh, go to edit mode. Um, you can start aligning the armature to the mesh. Uh, just gonna select that before you. You can also uh, go to tools and say X uh, access mirror, so that you don't have to do it uh, twice. So I'm just gonna align that. I'm going to fast forward this uh, process so that you guys don't have to watch me doing it. All right, so now we have uh, things aligned. Now we're going to select the, uh, the mesh and then select the armature and then say P automatic weights. It's going to bind our uh, amateur to the mesh and now if you select the amateur hit 3 go to the post mode you can move the bones and see everything uh, moves with it so all good now let's uh, set up the textures all right so before we start uh, putting the textures we just go to the world menu let uh, set up an HDRI so that we can see our model uh, with some lights so I'm just gonna use gaffer over here so you can select HDR, go to the rendering mode, make sure you are in cycles and set that to GPU. 
All right, so now if you select the mesh, you can see it comes with all these um, texture slots. So let me just start filling them in. So starting with the arms, if you select that um, and then select the principal shader and say Control Shift T, uh, you can select the textures. So I'm gonna go to go to assets, uh, textures, and then select the arm textures, the base color, metallic, and all that, all of that stuff and say principal texture setup uh, should set out set that up automatically for you uh, same thing I'm gonna do for the other slots as well so let's go to the chest uh, control shift T put in the chest as well in there and then I'm gonna go to legs uh, just gonna delete that Control Shift T again. Let's get on the legs um, textures. And for the mask, uh, let's go to the mask texture. Just gonna select that. And then um, use the mask textures in there as well. Then we have one for the helmet. Let's do that. Uh, oops. Select that. Let's go to helmet. There you go. We have uh, our texture set up now. All right, time to install the Blender add on. If you go to the Wonder Dynamics uh, download page, uh, I will put the link in the description below. Uh, you can go to the download add-on uh, page, you know, select that and have the Blender uh, uh, add-on downloaded. And then go to Edit, Preferences, um, Install, and just uh, browse to the add-on um, and install add-on. I have my already installed so if you go to uh, tools wonder to the studio character validation tool over here and now we're gonna go into the validation process it's pretty straightforward uh, not too many things to fiddle with before we start the validation process I'll have to um, copy all the textures to where the blender file lives so mine is in tutorial blender and it's gonna copy all the textures in the same folder as the blender file and now we can start with the validations all right so now let's uh, start with that so let's set uh, the body to be the the armature and uh, because you're using the example uh, armature uh, these names naming conventions should be correct uh, i'm just gonna hit auto assign and then go down you, you have an option to select the face elements if you have like shape keys or anything like that which is driving the uh, facial animation and now we can go ahead and set uh, validate character so i got an error called uh, a transformation error and some cleanup required so i'm just going to click on clean up character and then say okay and it's going to clean up the character and then i'm going to run the validation again so I got the status passed, it means everything is all good and it's ready to be uh, exported to Wonder Studio. So looking at the directory and all the files it created, it creates uh, a folder for all the textures. It also created uh, a JSON file which has all the metadata in there and also uh, our Blender files. And this all of this stuff is now ready to be exported to uh, Wonder Studio. All right, so in Wonder Studio now, I'm gonna be creating a new project. So I'm, just gonna be, I'm on a light uh, plan. So live action easy, say continue. And I'm gonna be clicking this my character button over here and then click plus. And just gonna name it um, my character, say create. Um, I already ha have the add-on and use that. So I'm gonna click on model and textures and I'm gonna browse to our uh, folder. So let's start selecting all the textures in there and then I'm gonna select the JSON file 
and also the blender file I'm just gonna click upload and it will start the process of uh, verify everything and uh, getting the character ready for our shots so yeah that was the video i hope you found this useful uh, Blender studio is an amazing tool and the ability to export your own models into it it unlocks a huge potential uh, if you like the video please like share and subscribe and i'll see you in the next one